ABC Weather Lab. Here's Eric's forecast. It's that time of the year where the low clouds can just ruin your forecast. I thought we would see the sunshine today and briefly around one o'clock. It looked like it was going to break through the clouds, but then they began to develop right over again and just kind of locked us in, creating another kind of dreary cool day. Temperatures only getting into the mid 60s, but I do think we see the sunshine again tomorrow before clouds and the chance for showers return by the mid part of the week. Let's look at the big picture. So we're going to go to the upper levels and you can see on the water vapor with this brownish orange shade moving over across a good portion of the country. We have some very dry air that is streaming over top of Kadiana and much of the Pelican State. Now, usually when you see that, that means bright blue sunny skies. But as we look on the satellite and radar picture, you can see we continue to have just this low cloud deck pretty much across eastern portions of Louisiana, back through Mississippi, Alabama, and up into Tennessee. I think that's all because we had all that rain on Friday, kind of cooling things off a little bit and providing enough moisture in the lower levels. And that's kind of just been trapped thanks to that dry air that's riding over top in the warm. So we kind of have this inversion keeping that low cloud deck in place and that's what's kept temperatures on the cool side today. And as we zoom in close, you can see there's a very sharp divide of where the clouds remained locked in for central Acadiana, which include a good portion of St. Landry, St. Martin, much of Lafayette Parish, Iberia. But off to the west, we did get that sun to break out back through Calcasieu up into the bow. Beauregard and Allen Parish that got those temperatures into those 70s like I thought we would see here in the hub city. But again, those clouds remained locked in. But eventually I do expect these clouds to slowly begin to fade through the evening and eventually go clear through the overnight. But we still have some moisture on the ground, especially in a lot of those sugar cane fields. So with that moisture still in place, and clear skies. You can see waking up tomorrow morning, fog could be a major issue of visibility dropping below a mile in many locations. So keep that in mind, especially with the sun not rising until about 720. This fog will be with you, especially as you head back to work and school. So maybe give yourself a few extra minutes if you do move through some of those fog prone areas on your way to work tomorrow. But I do think by the afternoon that fog and the low clouds burn off, we get some sunshine getting temperatures into those 70s tomorrow afternoon. By Tuesday, though, you start to see some moisture developing in the Gulf of Mexico with a warm front. That'll then lift over top the area, bringing with it hit or miss showers, even a few thunderstorms as we go throughout our Tuesday. And you do see not going to be a widespread mess, but we'll go about 40 50% chance for the hit or miss showers on Tuesday. European model shows a very similar picture for that scattered activity Tuesday afternoon. Wednesday, that moisture continues to be over top the area. And with our next front getting a little closer, we'll go with a 60-70% chance for at least scattered showers throughout the afternoon on Wednesday, maybe even a few thunderstorms. But I think those are more across the I-20 corridor. The front then makes its way into Acadiana first thing Thursday morning, so it could be a wet commute to start off our Halloween. And even into the afternoon, we could have some light showers lingering behind the front. But it does look like the rain moves out in time for trick-or-treating as we're now at 7 o'clock. But you do see Cool and breezy conditions. Temperatures down around 50 and those winds howling at about 10 to 20. You make sure you give those kids an extra coat or two as you head them out the trick or treating. Then high pressure builds in on Friday and it does look like with a big dip in the jet stream. The cooler and breezy conditions will continue into the first part of November. So a cool fall night in store for us. Decreasing clouds with that fog developing by morning. 53 for the overnight low. A mix of sun and clouds tomorrow should be a nice start to the week with temperatures getting into those mid 70s. A little bit warmer on Tuesday and Wednesday with that front lifting up. But that does bring the decent rain chances and then into the first part of our Thursday. We could see some scattered showers, but I do think we're drying out and then turning cooler by the end of the week and into next weekend. As you see highs upper 50s to lower 60s overnight lows down into the 40s. So we are talking some very chilly weather. Definitely looking good for some gumbo by next weekend. All right. Thank you, Eric.